Hey class, welcome back. Mr. G here going over some new stuff. Today we're going over calligraphy or the how to how to how to write with this stuff, really. That's kind of what we're doing. The first Leon, the first Leon. No. Okay. Okay, so today class, going over some calligraphy tips and tricks. Uh, I have another video that I will try and link up in the thingy uh, for one of my tutorials on how to make pens and starting to go over a little bit of calligraphy. One of the other art teachers in the county that I work in uh, donated to me. We traded off a couple supplies. Was like she needed this, I needed that. Uh, she had some old calligraphy kits that she was getting rid of. I was like, I'll take them. Uh, in these kits, we had a handle, a packet of nibs, and this is, I got like a class set of these things. Uh, the ink wells, and then I have some manila paper. All right, so another another student of mine uh, from different class, she was doing a wood burning piece, but she took the how to do calligraphy and was looking at how to do the lettering styles and did this beautiful wood burn piece. And using that as our template or using that to, to start us off with, notice how each of the letters inside of the name have some accents to them. Now, when using a calligraphy pen, you have to think about not the way that you write, but the way that you draw, because each one of your letters that you're, that you're illustrating is just that. You're drawing something. You're not writing something anymore. Even though calligraphy, you're, you're writing, but you're not. It's confusing. Uh, and the reason I say that is because the tip, the nib, uh, which is this steel thingy, and you're dragging it across the paper or the wood in this case and as you're doing that you're changing the direction of how much ink or how much uh, depending on what you might be using uh, pulling that ink across the page as that as that nib starts to open and manipulate the ink out it's changing the way that the line is illustrated on the page so holding the pencil in your hand you want to hold it at a 45 degree angle what's a 45 degree angle if it looks like the side of a triangle that's a 45 degree, nine times out of 10, let's just be honest, that's what your hand's gonna do. Because I'm gonna have somebody in the comments say something down below and they're like, no, that's not the way it works. Yeah, that's how it works. Holding that at a 45 degree angle, as you're moving and manipulating the line across the page, you're going to try, you have to keep your hand in that position. What I mean by that position is, as we draw, and this is kind of a common thing in, with artists, as we work, let's say a pencil, I'm gonna write or I'm gonna illustrate in one way. As I'm illustrating, I'm gonna notice that the ink or the, uh, the lead is wearing down on one side of that pencil. Now, as it wears down on that one side, I'm going to automatically rotate that pencil in my hand. I'm just gonna spin it around a little bit to get a new side of the pencil. The problem with that is if you're using a calligraphy pen, one of these nibs, as you manipulate it, if you turn that pencil, you turn that pen sideways, you're gonna change the angle of the tip. Now, if you do that in one way, it's not gonna come, no ink is gonna come out of there. And if you do it a different way, you're gonna get this, like a lot of ink is just gonna like, all that ink is gonna drain out of the well that's in, that's in the pen, and it's just gonna fly everywhere all over your paper, and then you're gonna have this massive mess. It's just gonna look nasty. So keep your hands stable so that you have that nice, continuous line and you don't have any mistakes or at least do lots of practice so that you can make sure that you wear out those mistakes and you understand how that ink is manipulating out of that pen. So things that you want that you're trying to learn here is how is the line moving across the page? How is the line quality or the density of the line going from a thick to a thin to a thick again or thin, thick, thin? However, and understanding that you're having gradients that you're doing this with because as you're using that ink you're going to use different levels of the ink are you going to use all the ink at once you're going to do an ink and water blend so you can get varying levels of gray out of that ink that's up to you that's the things i want you guys to experiment with and learn about as you do this process all right guys so i'm going to cut out today that's uh today i want you guys to practice and learn about how this stuff works and try and create your own designs try and make something cool like uh, one of my students and if you guys have questions as always raise your hand down below in the comment section like subscribe share and as always I will see you guys next class later guys
too. Uh, it that's my part of the video. That's it. <laughs> <Part of the video. laughs> that's in there now. <laughs>